I do feel like the colony is really starting to come together now. We're starting to get a nice shape going here, starting to get some proper structure actually up and running. Um, I probably want to focus on trying to recruit some more people as well. I'd like to try and be able to get things done even quicker here. Um, doing some other things here like the bridge stuff. So yeah, we're going to bridge through here. This bridge stuff seems to work pretty well. It's basically you just paint it over any area that you want to be able to build on and you'll be able to build on it. Yeah, it has to obviously be an area that you can't build on um, normally like water or this marsh here. But as long as it's that, yeah, you can just like paint it over there pretty liberally, which is what we're doing. Um, yeah, so more stuff happening in the base. I'll do a proper sort of overview of that a little bit later, I think. Um, what I want to do right now is kill rhinos. There's three rhinos over here. We're going to go take these guys on. So let's get what, five characters out here? All of these guys are armed very goodly. So hopefully this can go pretty swimmingly. Uh, I've got the, like, the LMG armed up on people now. The Masterwork Assault Rifle as well with combo there. So this is going to be pretty gooden, I think. Let's do some shooting at you. Now, it's potential these guys could all aggro together. If they did... Could be an issue um but so far getting pretty lucky with the old aggro there i feel um let's even move in a bit, a bit just a little bit um let's sit there and shoot at this guy say so hopefully this guy runs back okay we got some revenge uh, i'm gonna let you come at us it's totally fine i feel indeed my feelings there are correct how many rhinos do we want to kill? While I'm out here, I might as well kill a lot, I feel. Yeah. I feel I might as well kill a lot, because we can do it. We can also freeze the things now, so there's no worry about having too much meat around. Uh, do I bother going all the way up here? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, because... I want to make sure I've got enough Rhino leather to go and do this world quest, which is three days away now. So probably tomorrow at least I want to leave for that. Maybe even leave for it today if I potentially can. Um, I don't want to miss out on that bionic eye. I really, really don't. So we'll make sure that that happens. Um, four Rhinos in this group. It's a long way from the base. I'm going to be... A bit careful and start this attack from a long way back yeah potentially okay rhino revenge it's just the one if it was all of them the game would automatically pause for me all right we killed one there yeah let's let's do another one let's do another one um, I may not do all of these I may not they're all kind of running away a bit now. That's kind of good. All right, so they're spreading out a bit more. Um, which means if they do revenge as a pack, they'll be a bit spread out in how they come to us. You know what? We're just killing all of these things, I think. It's not going to hurt for us to have um, a bit of extra rhino leather for ourselves, even, to do some crafting with. I have got more crafting options for us now. Uh, Alright, so everything get hunted, I'll unrecruit you guys. You know what, I want to leave that for bit. Um, this is a little strategy here. Yep. There was a thrombo on the map a while ago that you guys didn't see, and I was trying to do the let's trap it in a building thing. It never really happened. But I'm going to leave this stuff out here, in case another Thrombo comes by that we maybe want to try trapping in a building. If I ever feel I really desperately need blocks, then I'll unforbid them and we can go grab those blocks. But for now, they're just going to sit out here. I think it's fine. We've actually got more raw stone here that can get crafted. Um, and a reasonable surplus of blocks in our inventory already. 
Um, Alright, these are getting hauled back. I'm going to do a little bit of controlling of the combo here and butchering these things to see how much rhino leather we can get up. So, go and do some butchering combo. Um, in terms of rhino leather, we have currently 86... Okay, 168. How much do we need again? It's like... Oh, 210. 210, that's... We're potentially already there. Yeah, we're there already. Excellent. Alright. Do I just send the caravan right now? I think I do. I'm going to send lobster and strapping in the caravan. Lobster's going to be our new caravan negotiator, right? Because he was our former negotiator. He's got six, which is not good by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not absolutely horribly terrible. And at least you can carry a gun. Uh, Danielle, I don't really want to send Danielle on too many caravans. She's got a bad back. She can't violent. Yeah. So she doesn't really add to the defensibility of the caravan, you know? She, in fact, definitely takes away from the defensibility of the caravan. So lobster and strapping will go together. They're currently both sleeping. I'll let them get a bit of rest here. Yeah, I will. Because otherwise they'll just jump into the caravan and then, like, leave immediately. Yeah. I'll let them get a bit of rest... Then we'll start packing this caravan up and heading off for Brana, which is 2.6 days left on that now. Yeah, I'm not going to let you guys get full, full rest here. I probably feel that you've had enough already, to be honest. Uh, let's clear Combo's prioritized work so that he can get back to doing normal things. Lots of meat in here. And yeah, holding temperature just fine. Of course, we've got two coolers here, so it's not going to be an issue. Um, and putting in some more coolers in the actual, uh, for actual air conditioning in our living areas as well, which is going to be good. Alright. Let's form this caravan. So, form caravan once again. We're going to take my man Lobster, our new caravan negotiator, and Strapping. Hmm, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, we are. We're going to take those two. Taking lobster means we miss a cook, so we don't have two cooks going, but it's going to be okay-ish, I hope. Um, 200 pemmican, I'm probably going to give you guys... Okay, you don't need all the pemmican. Let's take 150 pemmican, 7.2 days of food. I like that. I don't want to go too crazy with... Um, you know, relying on foraging and stuff too much. We'll take all of our silver, obviously. And then we'll take... Uh, where's our rhino leather? Did I see a horn there somewhere? No, it was some tribal wear. Let's actually take that tribal wear. Yeah, let's take a bit of this clothing stuff here. So the poor quality stuff. Let's take that. Some of this, um, slightly deteriorated stuff, if that's the right word. Um, Alright, and now we want our Rhino Leather. Rhino Leather, we want... So they want 210, right? We'll start at 210. That adds quite a bit of weight to our caravan. Just to make sure I'm correct on how much Rhino Leather, we'll take 300. Yeah, that's fine. We can maybe sell a bit extra of it if we want to. Is there anything else we want to take? Uh, let's take this package survival meal as well, just to be sure on the food front. Otherwise, that is fine. Yeah, I need to choose a route. I always do that, don't I? Akin Septon. Excellent. So these guys are going to go do that now. Let's get the game running. Um, and another thing that I want to do is get some pack animals so that our caravanning can become... Uh, a bit more robust, potentially, you know? We could look at trying to tame rhinos or something, but that could be dangerous. It could be dangerous. If you tame a rhino and they aggro on you, you're standing right next to them. Uh, I want to look at 
our handling skill. Yeah, she goes... Oh, God. Right, so we're not doing that, definitely. Lobster is our best handler, in fact, but he's got no passion for it, and it's only a 7. Gigo is the one with passion, um, but he's only up to a 3 on the animal handling. Let's maybe get a bit more training happening on some of these dogs, just to give Gigo the potential chance to level up a bit. So let's get rescue happening for Alistair and for Savannah. That could actually be something that's useful. I'm not going to train Savannah to release, but Alistair does have his release training. Not that he's really used it at all in any way. Maybe I should try toggling that release thing at some point on our recruited characters. Awesome. The caravan is heading off once again. I'm digging being able to go and interact with all of the world and stuff. It is good. Hmm. Another thing that I might want to do soon is open the Ancient Danger. Because we're kind of... We're kind of pretty robust in, um, in our ability to fight things now. We've got some pretty good weapons going around. Yeah, we've even got the chain shotgun in the friggin' stockpile now. Like, everyone... Everyone who can violent is armed with a gun. Yeah, Orange, I could potentially consider giving him the chain shotgun. The chain shotgun, as we know, is very powerful, but it does require you to be very close, which is why I don't have anyone equipped with it currently. Let's take a look at what these peace talks are. Um, the White Ridge Alliance again wants to talk to us about peace. They're pretty keen on the old peace, but... The last time, they weren't too happy with our negotiating skills. We might do that. We might do that. Yeah. And this time, I might even just do it with Lobster. And that'll at least give Lobster a chance to... Um, I mean, I don't care if he bungs the negotiations, really. It'll, and it will give him more experience, more skill in social. So that could be a good little investment. I might do that. And, um, potentially along the way I could stop off and do some more trading and stuff. Yeah. I reckon, I reckon we will get this one done. Bart's resistance is almost gone here. So soon, ah uh, yeah, soon we might recruit Bart. Yeah, actually, that'll be good. So then, like... Danielle might even break your resistance right here, to be honest. Almost. It's down to 0 0.4. Apparently you have low mood at the moment. Uh, right. Oh, you're ravenously hungry. Hmm. And you slept in the heat, which, yeah, is something that I was aware of. I have queued a, a cooler to be built for you. So it will get done at some point. Don't feed pork to Bart, please. Don't feed pork to Bart. Yeah, feed a simple meal to him. Uh, eating simple meal to Bart. I don't know why you interacted with this thing here. Hopefully you were just getting, um, you were just getting, uh, food for animal training or something. Hmm. Somewhat slightly worryingly, we're pushing the Bionic Eye trade request very closely. 0 0.7 days, 0 0.9 days, okay. I think we're slightly catching up now that we're trucking along on the road here. Yeah, actually we are. Good, good. We're definitely going to get there, but we did really run this one close. I'm glad that we've definitely got this done, though. The bionic eye is pretty massive for me. The uranium chest table, I'm definitely selling. Yeah, like, a uranium chest table, really? You, you get, like irradiated or something whilst you're playing chess. These guys are resting. Can I force the caravan to move? I don't think I can. Yeah, um... You have to rest. Hopefully it still means you make it there. You should still make it there. 0 0.7 days it says. 0 0.6 days. 
And it says 0 0.3 to destination, but you're currently not moving. We will keep a bit of a close eye on this one, actually. Uh, we've got some synth thread cloth, which is useful, particularly now that we're doing some crafting. Um, yeah, we've got a tailoring bench here, which I've put some bills in. I don't know that I've showed this exactly, but I have put some bills in there. I've also got some of the stuff that we're going to need, yes, uh, hauled close to our crafting area. We have recruited Bart. Awesome awesomeness. So, he's probably still hurt. Yeah, he's literally still hurt from being beat up. But he's still decided to join us anyway. If you can't beat them, join them, right Bart? Um, herbal meds for him. Let's just check that everyone is on herbal. That's good. They are. Um, other than that, I'll come back and look at your stuff later. This caravan is moving again. 0 0.2 days, 0 0.4 days. Hopefully you don't need to rest again before you get here. I can't imagine that you would need to. Yeah, it seems that we are going to get there in time, which is excellent. Let's, while this is happening, take a look at Bart's work schedule. He's all the way up here. Uh, which is actually a good position for him to be in my colonist bar, because he will have a gun. Yeah, good point. Um, Bart, do you want the chain shotgun? Hmm. Seven shooting skill. Health-wise, your big toe's been destroyed. Um, but no other permanent injuries. Bio-wise, hard work and misogynist annoying voice. So no speed traits. I guess I'm giving you that. Yeah, I guess I'm giving you that. Who got muscle parasites? Lobster did. Alright, cool. Let's get this trading happening. We are here. Fulfill trade offer. Fulfill the settlements, request the goods, and claim your reward. Let's do that. Confirm offer rhinoc rhinoceros leather 210 for bionic eye and uranium chest table. Beautiful. Let's do that. And then, can we trade, <laughs> trade and sell the uranium chest table straight back to them? Alright, lobster's not super healthy. Too bad. Too bad, basically. Hmm. These are pack animals. These are pack animals. We'll think about that. First things first, selling things. Yeah, unfortunately they don't want to buy their uranium chest table straight back. Which makes sense. <laughs> it would be kind of funny if we could um, buy it off them. In terms of anything I might want to buy from these guys, from what I can see, it's pretty well only the dromedaries. I mean, psychic stuff, kind of interesting, kind of fun, is powerful, but I don't feel like spending the money on that just now. Hmm. Do we go for dromedaries? What do we get out of these other than just being a pack animal? Um, will you have shearable fur or something? It doesn't really seem to tell me here. Doesn't really seem to tell me. You are a pack animal, which I already knew. Um, yeah, diet's pretty standard. Hmm, hmm. Look, I guess I am going to do this because I do want pack animals and this is our option right now. In the future we could consider selling these on and um, switching over to, you know, something else. Maybe elephants even, if we could tame some. Yeah, I don't know. Something a bit cooler, maybe. I also checked the female here. As far as I can tell, they don't provide milk. It's kind of nice to have, you know, a pack animal which will also provide milk and stuff and like, muffalos are obviously the best pack animal. You get milk, you get fur, or wool or something. Yeah, muffalo wool. Yeah, they're pretty damn good. If we could get muffalos, that would be pretty excellent. But that's not going to happen. Let's go back to Sulon, right? Do we just go back home? Or do we go over and do this and visit these guys here as well, maybe? Hmm. 
Well, we've only got 3.8 days of food on us. It's only going to take us a day and a half to get here. We could go here, buy food, go here, talk, and then come back. Nah, actually, I want to go home. I've got the bionic eye on me. So, yeah, I want to get that um, get that surgery done for Gigo and then get Gigo's leg magically healed as well. I did also get an exotic goods trader not too long ago, and I bought one Glitter World Med. So that's going to be used for Gigo's surgery. And, um, yeah, that way we'll make sure that Gigo's surgery is a success. Gigo, like, looks dead, doesn't he? <laughs> He just looks dead. He's still got this uh, sleeping sickness. Uh, it's... How's his immunity? 47. Yeah, okay. We have kind of been running out of herbal meds slightly. That was mainly because of this um, blight that happened. Um, but we're getting back on top of things again here. In terms of our, our growable things. More cargo pods. What is this? It's rice. Rice we can use, I guess. All that steel as well. I should maybe at some point set up a steel holy thing. Yeah, we let some of these rhinos rot. That was not the best thing to do, potentially. Um, but it is what it is. We let quite a few of the rhinos rot. Okay, I feel a bit bad about that. It's a bit wasteful. Oh, Combo has got a shoot frenzy. He will shoot more accurately for the next eight days. Huh. That's interesting. That's interesting. And it's very fitting that Combo is the one who gets this. He's been, he's been just our absolute dead-eye marksman for the longest time. I like that. We have finished machining. Um, are we doing gunsmithing now? I think we are. It seems that we actually are. So we'll do that. And then we'll do... Sterile tile, maybe? Flak armor. Maybe as well. I don't know that we've... Got the resources to make flak armor so much. Even making guns, we don't really have a huge amount of resources for currently. I have queued a bit of mining for components here. That's actually something that's probably holding up our cooler installation. Um, yeah, I've queued a bit of mining, but it doesn't look like it's super happening. I'm going to have to tweak some job priorities here. Because, yeah... I don't think I've really got anyone who's doing mining as, like, their first job. I guess that's what Bart's going to do. That is what Bart's going to do. Let's get Bart's jobs friggin' sorted out, hey? Um, low priority doctor. Wardening. Yeah, you can actually help out with that. Handling as well. We've finally got someone who can handle and has a double passion. Alright. So, wardening, handling, and hunting. You're going to do all of those before mining. But, as we know, these are short-term jobs. Not necessarily always going to need to be done. So you will do quite a lot of mining. I'll leave your construction on a three. You can come and help out with a little bit of that if need be. And crafting. I'll give you a three on crafting as well. You've got no real skill for it. But you could do some block crafting for us and stuff. That would be fine. It's interesting that you can research. I didn't really uh, pick you as the intellectual type, but... But apparently you are, which is cool. I don't know if I'll really use that, but it's nice to have that option there in case someone dies or something. Ha, ah, but he's already out here digging compacted machinery. That's fantastic. What gear is Bart wearing as well? Oh, he's wearing a flak jacket. Huh. Which obviously he came with. It's a little bit damaged currently. But yeah. I like that you are wearing a flak jacket. Um, you won't do hauling. Okay. Alright. Fine. Um, and yeah. We've got our nice 
tribal flavored uh, headgear happening as well, which I, I dig. Pig gear, what is pig wearing? A uh, tribal headdress, a synth thread tribal hairdress. Yeah, I did, um, I did put some bills in here for tribal headdresses, for um, more war veils. Yeah, I think I like the war veil best, but it's nice to mix up some different things like these are uh, these headdresses and these war masks as well. I do like I do like the tribal accessories here. They're fun. Psychic Sooth for male colonists? That's good. We've got quite a few male colonists, actually. Awesome. Our caravan is back here with our pack animals. Fantastic. Uh, can you guys haul a bit of rice with you? That might be a good idea. Maybe I can't get the <laughs> pack animals to do it. Yeah. This will make a uh, good use of... Why are you only hauling 34? Um, surely you can haul more than 34, right? No, you can only haul 34. That might be because of muscle parasites. Uh, and you've now collapsed due to extreme exha exhaustion. Fine. Fine, fine. Totally fine. Um, Alright, so you're getting back... These dromedaries, I guess I just leave them unrestricted. They can just do whatever. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. We'll look to use them again pretty shortly to head out and do more trading and more peace talks and stuff. Um, we don't have as much beer as I'd potentially like. The main reason for that is because we had that blight, we lost a lot of hops in that, um, and we just haven't had the hops around to actually do any brewing. Like, there's no brewing going on currently at all, like no fermenting happening. I like this setup though. I, I really like the way this setup looks here, with all these barrels here, and I've even put a different flooring type under the barrels. I don't know why, it just looks nice to me. Yeah. And then the barrels facing in different directions as well. This is all, it's all, um, makes sense sort of thing. So, they're all, all the barrels are positioned so that you could reach the tap on the barrel. Because obviously you need to reach the tap on the barrel, right? To get the stuff out of it. I do like our brewery though. It looks nice. I, it has a nice, it has a nice, uh, warm, sort of rustic, homely sort of feel to it, I feel. Getting a couple of uh, little bedrooms set up here as well. Um, we do actually need more bedrooms. I did set our prison to be able to be used by people, because Bart will need a bedroom. I don't know if he's chosen one yet, but yeah, he'll pro he'll probably be sleeping in the prison, I imagine, because as far as I know, all the beds are actually taken. But yeah, we'll get these set up at some point. There's a lot of construction that actually needs doing. Yeah. That's... We're not getting jobs done absolutely as quickly as I would potentially like. Yeah, my work queue is working exactly how I want it to. We just, um... I don't know. We've got a lot of manpower. But I'd like more. I'd like more. Maybe part of that could be helped by opening this and seeing what's in there. Because often, in these rooms, you can get, like, those crypto sleep pods where there's just people in there that you can recruit. And the people in those crypto sleep pods are always amazing. They've always got, like, bionic brain implants and, like, yeah, different bionics on them. or And, and they generally are like, really good characters as well, because the game obviously knows that for you to do this little mission type thing, this little map quest or whatever it is, you need to be pretty well set up, you know? You need to be, like, pretty well established and pretty capable kind of colony. Good to see that this mining is happening. Definitely, actually, just adding Bart into this group does 
is getting a few more jobs done for us, which is which is good. Nice to see Bart doing training there as well. So that will help with uh, Bart's animal skill. Man, that's gone up quite a lot already. The double passion there really helps. Yeah. I'd like to get... I'd like to get this animal skill quite high, and then... Then we could consider Bart trying to tame some of the wild animals here. Like... The... Elephants. You know, if there was another panther come onto the map... Maybe at some point I'd try and tame a panther. That would be freaking sweet. If we could get a male and a female panther, start breeding some panthers and stuff. Yeah, that would be good. I wonder if you can use panthers as a pack animal. I don't know. I don't think you can off the top of my head. Yeah. But just as a release animal, that'd be a lot of fun. Right, let's get Gigo's surgery happening. Little World Meds, Operations. We're going to do his left eye. So, install Bionic Eye, left eye. Now, I'm going to find someone and force them to do it, because I'm going to make sure that it's definitely like our best doctor. 11, 7. Combo looks quite high. 12, hmm... Maybe I'll force Lobster to do it, because he's got the double passion, so he'll get the most out of it. Prioritize operating on Gigo. You reserve by Orange, but we don't want Orange doing this, right? Only a 7. We definitely don't want Orange to do it. Cool. Let's get, yeah, Lobster to go and install this Bionic Eye. Uh, is he grabbing Herbal Meds? Why would he grab herbal meds? He did grab herbal meds. He needs three. Why does he need three herbal meds? So he can't use the Glitter World med? Is that what you're saying, game? Is that what you're saying? He needs a stack of three? Hmm. Orange. Refuel that. Lobster. Refuel that. I definitely need to make sure there's light in there. <sighs> okay, I thought one Glitter World Med would be enough, but clearly it's not. Do I risk doing this with just Herbal Meds? I think I do overall. Strapping looks like he's... He's just feeding, that's alright. Um, clean some of this dirt. Because dirt doesn't help for, um, for, uh, surgery stuff. You know what another thing I might do is? I might... Let's shrink this zone. Um... No, actually, I won't do that. I was going to put bionics in this thing here so that surgeries could happen quicker, but... Uh, you know what? I am going to do it. I am going to do it. Because we're never going to store that many bionics, right? I mean... We're never... If we have bionics, we're pretty much going to use them almost immediately. And actually, this might be a good way of me seeing what kind of bionics we have currently. So, would it be under-manufactured? Um, it's not under-manufactured. Where would bionics be exactly? Items, body parts, artificial. Okay, we're going to keep artificial body parts in there. Just that. Yeah, it'll just be a one stockpile zone. You know what? You know what? Let's expand you to there. Shrink you out of there. And you there will expand. So this... Storage, artificial body parts, that's all. And this is medical stuff. Cool. Uh, don't use a Glitter World Med on whatever you're treating there. It's probably the sleeping sickness. Reset you. 
and do whatever. Uh, now, I wanted Lobster to do this surgery, right? Yeah, it was Lobster. Uh, is the surgery still queued? It is still queued. Alright. We're gonna go for this now. We're gonna go for this now. So let's hope that this can be successful. Um, I will go back to this. And yeah. Just see if you'll use the med, the Glitter World med. It doesn't look like you can. It looks like you need a stack of three, which I just don't have, and I'm not going to wait for. I think, I think we can get this surgery happening successfully. I could have again waited for an inspiration or something, but again, yeah. I don't really want to wait. I don't really want to, to wait. Some cleaning just happened in here, which is good. So this is a perfectly clean hospital. Please, please, please get this done. Lobster failed catastrophically. Piss off. Oh, all right. Well, well, well. I mean, so we lose a bionic eye. Yeah, we lose a bionic eye. Great. All right, we're definitely not going to do that with herbal meds then, are we? The question is, do we just poke him with the healer mech serum now? Or do we buy more Glitter World meds? I think we send a caravan off very quickly and find Glitter World meds and buy them. I think that's what we do. Ah, oh, but now we don't have a bionic eye. Piss. Piss. Alright. That's annoyed me a bit. It is what it is, though. Next time, we're going to know that, yeah, if we're going to install bionic parts, just use a Glitter World med, you know? Oh, gunsmithing is finished. All right. I should go and build a smithing bench for that. I should do that very shortly. Um, what should we research? And should we consider just giving the research a little rest? If we did that, what would Danielle do? Danielle could actually help out with, like, hauling and stuff. Um... You would do growing and plant cutting and... Yeah, you'd mainly do a bit of hauling and... Hmm. That might not be too bad. There's a bit of hauling that actually needs doing and stuff right now. Um, yeah, I'm going to let you do some other jobs just for a bit. Um, and if people have any input on where we should be heading with our research, let us know. Let us know. So, gunsmithing we've got. Flak armor... It's a big tech to research, plus, right now, I just don't know that we have the resources to make flak armor, like I said. We don't really have enough components and stuff. Um, yeah, I feel like our research could be spent better elsewhere. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm going to get back to research in a sec. A nurse named Sheer calls from nearby. She's being chased by outlanders from Monwala. Hmm. She's 51, there is four mercenary gunners, one councilman, three guards, and six villagers. God damn. God damn, there's a lot of people chasing her. I want to accept this. But I don't know if I can. Ha. <sighs> Alright, how many do we have to kill in this group? There's four, five, uh, well, eight, and then 14 characters. We have to kill seven people, or is it eight? Do you need to bump it over 50? It could potentially be eight people that we have to kill. Um, all of these characters can't violent, but the rest of these guys can. They're all armed decently. We've got traps. Man, man, man. <sighs> I don't know. Can I... Oh, if I press escape, will that ignore this, it might. Because I kind of want to just save and get opinions on this. Hmm. 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 I don't know if that's an option for me this time. Um. Alright. Do I offer safety? Do I ignore this message? Um, 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 um. Uh. 
Alright, this is maybe not the smartest thing to do, but I never really like doing smart things. I'm going to offer safety to Shia. And she's a nurse as well, so when everyone gets terribly hurt, she can patch them up, right? Alright, you better be grateful for this woman. Offer safety. Let's do it. Here comes Shia. Alright, alright, alright. We need to prepare. We need to prepare very goodly. Let's leave that one. Yeah, let's leave that one. We'll close that. Animals be inside, be inside. Peoples also be inside. Okay, okay, okay. I was actually thinking that we haven't had a raid. We haven't had a raid in friggin... I don't even know how long. It's been ridiculously long. I should maybe even bump the difficulty up, to be honest. I have kind of felt that rough doesn't feel as difficult as the old intense difficulty used to feel. From my time playing version 1.0 unstable and beta 19, that's that's my feeling on it. Hmm. Alright, alright. Shia, could you actually get armed and help with this? Uh, no, you can't violent. Man, we have five characters who can't violent. That's just crazy. That's just crazy. It's like almost half our colony literally cannot pick up a gun. Alright, you're armed, you're armed, you're armed, you're armed, armed, and also armed. Are there any guns that I've ignored that I should pick up? There's not. Yeah, I'm gonna take my time with this because, yeah, you know, you know this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Alright. You guys come here. Pig, where are you? Ah, you're right here, yeah. You're gonna be my door closer. Uh, yeah. You're gonna be my door closer. Um, because you are a non-violent character. Come and close some of these doors for me. Shear will actually close this one. So that's good. Uh, that one I don't want to close. This one I want to close. And then we're gonna be good. We'll see where this raid comes in a minute. That door is now closing. Okay. Alright, uh, people, I want you to go and stand in here. We're going to try and bait the people down through here. And in fact, I need to close that door. I'm surprised the raid is still not here yet. It'll be here very shortly, I feel. I'm even going to stand, like, out here to really bait these guys in. Let's go to speed three and make this thing happen. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> all right, all right. Man, this could have been a really bad idea. This could have been a really bad idea. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Maybe I feel overconfident here because it's been so long since we've shot at anything. Alright, come and stand right here, guys. I'm assuming you are going to come this way. They're definitely going to come this way. Let's get that held open temporarily. And just get someone standing there so the door opens up. Yeah, take some shots. Take some more shots. Take some more shots. Now run. Now run, run, run. This door here needs to close. And good. We've definitely aggroed this pack onto these guys. Which is exactly what I want to happen. Um, I'll back up here. We'll get our turret involved in this. You're going to bash on that door, which is not the best. I'd like you guys to run in through here. Could I get someone down to repair that? <clears throat> I could consider it. Who's got the chain shotgun, and are they a repairer? Um, it's Bart, and Bart kind of is a repairer. Start coming down here, and I'm just going to keep an eye on how this door's doing. Being friggin' belted right now. 50. Oh, now they're coming in. Now they're coming in. Back up, Bart. We don't need to do this. Alright, we're killing some of them in the traps. These traps are so good. 
the rebalancing of these traps, they're actually more powerful now. Like, legitimately more powerful. And lots of... Yeah, lots of stuff happening here. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Focus fire, guys. I want to focus fire. Oh, someone died? Who the hell died? Strapping died. Okay. 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 Now they're fleeing. Alright. Well, we lost a character. We gained a character. Oh, it was strapping. It was my wild man. My wild man died. No. I don't want my wild man to die. Hmm. We kind of knew that this would be difficult. And at least we get rid of a jealous character. We could kind of look at it that way, right? You guys can, til can still take shots on these dudes here as they leave. Someone did get downed. Barrack got downed. He's dead in eight hours. He's got a permanent injury to his right eye, but that's not too bad, really. Um, a tough, psychically deaf character. Ooh. Dan Brack is a good character. Dan Brack is a good character. We're going to have to reconvert this area back into the prison. So let's make that so. It does mean Bart doesn't have a bed currently. Um, I'm going to put some sleeping spots around. Um, like someone can temporarily sleep in the brewery if they want to. Someone can also temporarily... I'm trying, I'll try and put these in rooms that are like nice-ish. What's that? Huh? Huh? Per Monwala? How the hell did you get there? How the hell... Ah. Through here. Right. Right. I had the base, like, open? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. So some people got in here. Jigo got downed. Oh, Jigo doesn't have a weapon on him. Somehow, in my confusedness of who can violent and who can't, I've assumed that Jigo can't violent. When he can, and he's quite good at the violence. Okay, he didn't get anything else cut off or bitten off or whatever. And I think Alistair potentially helped out with this. Uh, knife, yeah. Yeah. Did he kill this person? He did. <laughs> You're my boy. You're my boy, Alistair. Alright. I think we unpause. We shoot the rest of these guys. And then we hope that no one dies from stuff. Oh, we're going to really shoot some fish in a barrel here. Bart, move up. Uh, Bart's getting hit by his own people. Don't move up. Go back and do whatever. Is everyone shooting here? Lobster, you can... You're incapable of equipping that. That's fine. Oh, our turret is still able to shoot at these guys a bit. Yeah, we've killed most of them. Oh, you just bashed that door completely. That's fine. We're going to let you leave. Yeah, I'm going to let you leave. You could collapse. It's possible you could collapse. But I'm not going to put any effort into that. Barak, I kind of need to capture you. Yeah, go and capture... Or Brack, rather. I don't know why I'm calling you Barak. Um... And strapping is going to need to be buried. He's going to need to be buried. I did actually set this grave to only be usable by colonists. So all the people who die here will get hauled off to this dumping stockpile here, which I'm going to rename now. So this is going to be our mass grave. I always like calling things a mass grave and just dumping people there. I know you can do the stone room and set things on fire trick. Um... But I guess we don't have a flamethrower -y thing right now. And, um, I don't know. Kind of like stacking the bodies up anyway. Health-wise, this guy's dead in five hours. I do need someone to tend to him pretty well immediately. Um, who is that going to be? Um, I'm not sure who's doing what right now. I know there's a lot of 
stuff that needs to happen. Well, Shia, Shia, you caused all this trouble. You are actually tending to Bart. How badly does Bart need things? Not super badly. So, you know what? Tend to Brack here. Seems we're... No, we're not out of herbal meds. But for some reason you're choosing not to use that. I'm fine with that, to be honest. Um, let's do a quick check and make sure that no one is going to immediately die here. Combo is not. Bart is not, which we already kind of knew. It looks like a lobster's already been treated, which is fantastic. Jigo is getting treated currently. Pig is fine. Shear is fine. Dragon is fine. And Danielle's fine. Good. Good. Well, yeah, we got through a raid in a way. In a way. I'm not going to strip strapping. Strapping will be buried in his clothes with dignity. And... Um will be another addition to our colony graveyard. I am going to spruce the graveyard up fairly shortly and also build some sarcophagi in here. Probably will actually exhume... Now, do I remember this character's name? Turtle. That was Turtle. There we go. Turtle is, of course, I believe Lobster's brother. If we go to social... Yeah. Your brother, who is dead... Uh, and it tells us Turtle is dead. So yeah, we might exhume Turtle and give him a proper a proper burial in a proper sarcophagi now that um now that we're a bit more set up, you know, we're we're able to honor his sacrifice and his contribution to getting Sulon started here. Because he was you know, he was one of our original guys and he definitely played his part in getting us to where we are today. I definitely will be looking to uh, to honour that. Let's build another door there. There's actually a thing with this new beta where you can toggle to automatically... Is this it? Toggle automatic rebuild of destroyed structures in the home area. Okay. This is Tynan's interpretation of a mod which did a similar thing. Do I want to turn that on? So it would just mean anything that gets destroyed will immediately get a blueprint replaced for it, so it will get rebuilt. I think I want to do that. I'm turning that on. I think that will be handy. Out of this raid, we did get quite a lot of guns. We did get quite a lot of guns. So overall... Overall, I feel like we've broken even. Losing strapping... Losing strapping was a blow. Especially because strapping was my wild man. <laughs> ah, I'm sad about losing the wild man. It was probably... The shot from Frank's bolt action rifle that uh oh it, it narrowly missed lobster and hit strapping I like these flavor texts they're really great yeah I think probably this was this was what killed you I mean destroying your right lung you can kind of live without a right lung but yeah not very well and Strapping was not able to survive that. He did take some other shots as well. Stomach shot, pelvis shot, yeah. Someone's got an infection, it's combo. Yeah, alright. Okay, that'll get treated. Hopefully it will be alright. I don't know why these guys didn't go to... The hospital. Oh, now I do. They were restricted. They were restricted and the hospital is not included in that zone. I'm going to take a quick look at this zone and just expand it to where it needs to be. So this is inside. This is inside. Because yeah, we've done some 
extra buildering since this zone was created, right? So that's inside. Technically, all of this stuff is inside as well. Yeah, it is. So, you're allowed all in here now, guys. Congratulations. Congratulations. Awesome. So, yeah, we'll set this zone up. And I think now, I think now I'm going to... Okay, I need to clear a bit of this inside. I need to clear a bit of that there, that there, that there. And I actually want to cover the wall. Yeah. Some of this will actually change when I build this um, bridge at some point. It's been queued for like a million years again, but hasn't been done. Um, yeah, I'm going to let things settle again here. Let things get done. Let uh, some people heal up and that sort of thing. And then we'll get back out. We'll do some more caravanning and stuff. We'll push on with the uh, progression of the Sulon colony here.